Hi everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make these cute little snowmen on a loom. I really appreciate all your encouragement to make this snowman video. You all are so awesome and I want to give a quick shout out to all those who responded. These adorable snowmen will make great tree ornaments, package decorations, or great gifts. I wanted to come up with an idea that I could use up some of my scrap yarn, and that is one of the reasons why I came up with this project. I made my snowmen a couple of different ways, and I asked my son which one he liked best, because he's usually pretty brutally honest with me when it comes to stuff like that. So I decided that I'm going to show you how to make the snowman of the one that he liked the best. But know that you can change your snowman and you don't have to follow my directions exactly. I will tell you as I go along how you can do things differently if you want to change things up to make your snowman different. These snowmen are fun to experiment with. Let's get started. You are going to need a yarn needle, scissors, puffy paint, twigs, loom hook, tissues, toilet paper, or something to stuff it with, yarn, glue, and I used a 12 peg loom. First, let's make the snowman's body. To make it different, you could use two yarn strands to make the body, one from each end of your yarn spool, but my son and I actually liked the snowman that was done with one yarn strand better. It also makes it easier to use one yarn string when you are using scrap yarn because your scrap yarn is usually in balls. You can also try making your snowman with an off-white. I think it gives your snowman a vintage look. Let's start the snowman body with a slip knot. Be sure to give yourself extra yarn at the end. Put the knot on the side peg. Now we wrap all the pegs twice. The whole body will be made with the knit stitch. After each peg has two loops, we pull the bottom loops up and over the top of the pegs all the way around the loom like this. Now we wrap each peg again. Then we pull the bottom loops up and over. We continue this process until we have 17 rows. Now cut your yarn and thread your needle. Be sure to leave yourself plenty of extra to make it easy to finish the body. I push all my loops to the center of each peg and I go under each loop with my needle like this. Now get your hook and lift the loops off of your loom like this. This is the top of the snowman. Get the string at the bottom of the snowman and weave it through each of the stitches with your fingers like this. Once that is done, pull your string through the bottom hole and pull it tight. Now I secure my string with a knot on the inside. My son and I liked the bumpy side facing out on our snowman, but you could use the smooth side if you want to. This is how I make the hat. To make it different, you don't have to use the same color of hat and scarf that I did. Come up with your own color combinations. First we make a slip knot and put it on the side peg of our loom. Wrap all your pegs twice and then pull your bottom loops up and over the top. Just like the snowman's body, the snowman's hat will use only the knit stitch. Once you get five rows, line up the bottom stitch to a peg and put it onto the pegs like this. Do this until all the pegs have two loops. This will make the brim of the hat. Use your loom hook to pull all the bottom loops up and over the peg. Take the slip knot off of the side peg and tie your two strings together. Be sure to cut the small string off and not the long string. Now we continue to do six more rows of knit stitches. Once you are done your six rows, cut the yarn and thread your needle. Make sure to leave yourself extra yarn. Then we weave our yarn needle under each loop on the pegs. After they are sewn together, take your hat off of your loom like this. Now I pull my string tight, I push my string through the hole, and tie a knot. 
Now let's make a pom-pom for our hat. I love making pom-poms. I use two different colors for my pom-pom. The first thing I do is cut two strings off of the colors I will be using. We will use them to tie our pom-pom together. Now I place my two cut strings between my fingers like this. I get the end strings off of my yarn spools and start wrapping the yarn around my first and second fingers like this. I cut the yarn when I think my pom-pom is as big as I want it. Now I get the two ends of the string I place between my fingers and start tying it as tight as I can in the middle of the pom-pom. Tie it a couple times. Once it is secure, slide the pom-pom off of your fingers and tie it again to be sure it is wrapped tight. Now I lay a piece of paper under my pom-pom to make cleanup easy. I cut all the loops on each of the sides of the long strings. Do not cut the long strings. Shape your pom-pom by trimming it with scissors. Make all your yarn pieces even. Now we attach our pom-pom on the top of our hat by pushing the long yarn strings through the top of each side of the hat. Then I tie the strings on the inside of the hat a couple of times and then I cut them. Let's make the scarf. First, let's make a slip knot at the end of our yarn and put it on our side peg. Now wrap four pegs like this. Wrap the last peg twice. Take the bottom loop and pull it up over the top. This is a knit stitch. Lay your yarn string across the top of the yarn loop on the next peg. Then pull that string under the bottom loop with your hook to make a new loop. Pull the old loop off of the peg with your fingers and put the new loop on the peg. Let's do that again on the next peg. This is an upside down purl stitch. You can also use a regular purl stitch. We will always make the end stitches knit stitches in order to make the edges straight. So make the last stitch a knit stitch. Now our next row will be all four knit stitches. Push all your work to the bottom of your loom and wrap the top of all four pegs again. Now pull all the bottom loops over the top. The next row will be a knit stitch, a purl stitch, or an upside down purl stitch, and another purl stitch, or upside down purl stitch, and a knit stitch. And the next row will be all knit stitches. I continue this pattern until the scarf is about 9 inches long, and our yarn string is on the left side of our loom. I cast off by wrapping the second peg to the right and pulling the bottom loop over the top. Then I take the loop off of the peg and put it on my left peg. Now I pull the bottom loop over the top and move that loop on the left peg over to the next peg on the right. Let's do that again. Now we cut the yarn, take the last loop off of the peg, push the end string into the loop, and make a knot like this. Now I am going to show you how to make the fringe on the scarf. I simply cut a few pieces of yarn to about 3 or 4 inches long. Now fold a piece in half and push the folded end through a hole in the end of the scarf. Then push the two ends through the loop of the folded end like this. Pull it tight. Then do it again until the end has three or four pieces on it. Now we do the other side too. The last thing we do is cut the fringe so it is even. Look, we are done our scarf. Now that all of the pieces of the snowman are made, we will start putting them together. Let's start off by making the body first. I decided to stuff the body with tissues. I used three tissues for the bottom part of the body. I cut a piece of yarn string and double it up and then I tie the middle of the snowman's body like this. I tie it a couple of times and then cut the extra strings off. I stuffed the head with two tissues and pulled the string tight. Thread your needle and sew a stitch in the top to make sure it stays closed. Now we can attach our hat. Place the hat on the snowman's head. Sew with your white yarn. 
go under the brim of the hat and attach it to the snowman's head a little at a time like this until it is attached all the way around. Then knot and cut your yarn. Let's attach our scarf. I wrap the scarf around the snowman's neck and place it where it looks good. I use a piece of yarn that matches the scarf to sew the scarf on. I start off by knotting the yarn like this. I sew the scarf down to the snowman on all sides of the scarf. I even sew the top and bottom of the scarf around the snowman's neck. This also makes the head more steady and pulls the snowman together nicely. Next we will give our snowman a string to hang him with. Cut a small piece of yarn. Locate the very back of your snowman. We will push the yarn piece through the top of the back of his hat like this. Now tie it. Determine how long you want your string. Tie a couple of knots and then cut your strings. Now I will give the snowman arms. I use twigs that I found in the yard. The twigs with the V on the end works best. It gives our snowman hands. Simply cut the arms to the size you want them. Now use a hot glue gun to glue the arms on. Let's give our snowman a face by using puffy paint. I will use black puffy paint first. I carefully squeeze the paint lightly to give the snowman eyes, a mouth, and his buttons. Now let's use orange. Give him a cute carrot nose. I like to put green holly on my snowman's hat. I use red paint to give the holly berries. Now we set our snowman out to dry. They are such precious snowmen and they are such fun to make. I would love it if you shared your snowman ideas with us. I know you will make your snowman with such creatively different ideas and I always get so excited to see how your projects turn out. So visit our Facebook page to share your ideas with us all. Here's a picture of a pumpkin that Mary made on her loom and she shared it with us last week. I love how she made her pumpkin her own by leaving the leaf off of the pumpkin. Great job, Mary. Thank you so much for sharing. Don't miss out on a couple of our other loom videos to give you more decorating and gift ideas. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make my snowman and I hope that it inspires you to give it a try too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ride our bikes! I can see Jarrett in my rear view mirror. See? There he is. Is that fun? Yep. Look, the leaves are starting to change and they're all falling on the ground. Look, that's where we go fishing. And here's the bench. Let's sit at the bench and we'll eat our crackers. Look, I found a bench. What's the best part of it? And the best part for me is seeing and smelling the first fallen leaves. Enjoying all the pretty views, seeing Jarrett smile and have a good time, and enjoying life with my best friend. I love my new bike.